the white lion. Arise, GYB, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Arise, the conflict state. The celebration of Kogi State Governor Yaya Bello's second year in office featured a week of showcasing the landmark achievements of his administration. Events were wrapped up with a gala night that attracted dignitaries, including stalwarts of the All Progressive Congress from within and outside the state. Governorship candidate Tony Inwoye of Anambra State, contractors, traditional rulers, artists, and dignitaries. It was also an opportunity for the state government to reel out details of what it calls a fara compendium of what it has done and what it intends to do. We have 16 policies that have been either signed into law or established, and then we have about 10 more that have been in the process in the House and all that to be done. The state government's deliberate involvement in the health needs of extremely disadvantaged persons was also made public. Among beneficiaries is Grace Amege, who got 10 million naira for kidney transplant. Another is Mohamed Otwe, who was treated of acute ulcer. And the final year veteran medical student of Amadou Bello University, Suleiman Hassan, who got 5 million for medical care at the Federal Medical Center, Lokoja. Governor Bello announced plans to foot the expenses of Suleiman Hassan's spinal cord correction surgery abroad, estimated at around 10 million naira. Let me start from my brother that, uh, that we saw on wheelchair a while ago, who was at the verge of death. But by our own token intervention, we can see him on wheelchair. If money, if fund, is what will be required for him to go back on his feet and live a meaningful life and contribute to the well-being of others and the economy of this country, I take personal responsibility. The beneficiaries of the state government's health care expressed their gratitude. Your Excellency. Kindly accept our profound gratitude and appreciation for your remarkable gesture. God bless you, sir. I want the whole world to know that this is not just a DC. I am a practical testimony to what is necessary and done. You are indeed giving me an opportunity to face life again. Donation worth millions of naira towards the State Poor and Vulnerable Persons Trust Fund were made by a cross section of political office holders, businessmen, institutions and individuals. Governor Bello used the opportunity to make a fresh commitment to the people of the state. And as a direct fallout of our clean-up exercise in the public service, we have appointed a new crop of permanent secretaries selected solely on the basis of merit and equity. The civil servants themselves can testify that no one was victimized and that we did, not, we did our best to carry all local government areas Along, this is the essence of reform to remove distortion and deformations in the system. Our next target is to find the funds we need to pay wages and other forms of remunerations as at when due. The event was spiced off by performances from various artists, including Debbie Rice of the 2017 edition of Big Brother Nigeria and other popular entertainers from across the state. Avoy Umogu, AIT News, Lokoja.